Hey guys, let's get back to talking about production and costs and how our Baker Sidhu's costs change, uh, you know, dependent on fixed and variable cost. So hopefully over the last two, a few videos, you are very comfortable with what marginal product means. And also from the previous video, what total cost, fixed cost, variable cost means, make sure you go review that. And the, you know, both numerically and we also graphed it as you can see. Uh, so make sure you're very comfortable with how we got those graphs of total cost, variable cost, and fixed cost from those numbers. And it's important to note that fixed cost is always horizontal, it's a fixed number. Variable cost goes up, and then total cost, which is a combination of the two, is also going to take the same shape as the variable cost, but it's going to be starting at a higher point than the variable cost. So make sure you're very comfortable with all of those concepts. And now today, we're going to take a step forward and look at averages and marginal. So we're gonna analyze costs with a little bit more detail. So I'll define uh, you know, a few more kinds of costs, and in the next video, we'll graph it, and then hopefully we are able to put everything together over the next couple of videos. So this is from the previous video. You should remember uh, what total cost and fixed cost and variable costs are and the relationship between total cost and the two costs that you know, total cost can be decomposed into. So if you're not comfortable, go review the previous video uh, and then come back to this. It is, I should point out, it is very important you understand this before proceeding. So do not continue watching this video if you're not clear on those concepts. So today's topic is going to be averages. How do we measure averages? You probably all know what average means. We're going to apply that to the concept of costs. So average of anything is the total amount divided by some quantity. So average cost is dividing up the firm's total costs divided by the quantity that the producer is producing. So we're gonna apply this definition to the uh, fixed and variable cost that we've looked at so far. So average, you know, average cost, we know there are, there are two kinds of costs, fixed and variable, and therefore total. Average fixed cost is just dividing up fixed cost by quantity. Quantity here refers to the total amount Sidhu is producing in, in our bakery. And fixed costs are the cost we talked about, right? So remember what fixed costs were. The interest, or sorry, the, uh, the, the rent he pays on the building is a fixed cost. Right? So we've talked about those things. And average variable cost is variable cost divided by quantity. So total variable cost divided by the quantity he produces. Again, you know, his ingredients he uses, flour or eggs or whatever else, uh, the amount of people he hires, all of those are variable costs. And then your average total cost is just going to be adding up AFC and AVC. So let me put it in a mathematically pleasing fashion. So this is just the same information as before, but just mathematically easier to, to see. AFC, AVC, and ATC is what you have here. Now let me just give you one relationship. So the graph that we've already, sorry, the relationship you've already seen is the total cost equals fixed cost plus variable cost. So the way we go from there to here is we're saying, okay, these are in totals. What is my total variable cost? What is my total fixed cost? And therefore, what is my total cost in relation to that? If you divide up this whole equation by Q, right, so total cost divided by quantity gives you average total cost. FC divided by Q gives you AFC. And VC divided by Q gives you AVC. So we're just deriving these three concepts from the equation that you already know. So make sure you understand where we are getting these uh, equations from. All right, so uh, uh, one more kind of uh, cost, and then we're done in talking about the different kinds of costs, then we can look at the relationship between them and how we graph them. And this is a very important cost. Just the word marginal should you know, ring a bell in your head, which says it's something to do with incremental changes. Just like marginal product was an incremental change in input leading to an extra output, Marginal cost is going to be similar, but in relation to cost. So students office, often com confuse average and marginal cost, so make sure you're very clear on the difference here. Marginal cost measures the increase in total cost if I hire one more, if I want to produce one more unit of output. All right, so it's the increase in total cost divided by the increase in output. So how much extra is it going to cost me if I want to produce one more unit of output? As opposed to average, which says, if I'm producing a million units, on average, what is it costing me? This tells me that how much is it costing me to produce that millionth unit, which is very important because if you're running a business, you don't say, okay, I want to produce either a million units or zero. You have to decide whether to produce one more unit, one more unit, or produce one less unit. So that information is given to you by the marginal cost, not the average cost. So when you, you know, if you want to become a successful businessman, you should be very clear on what your marginal costs are as well. So how much extra does it cost to produce one more unit is what the concept of marginal cost tells us. So you know, again, the definition you know, MC is change in total cost divided by change in Q, which is just this. And you can also write that as change in variable cost divided by change in Q. So think about it for a minute and pause and, and come back. Why do you think it can be either or? Because we know total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. 
So change in total cost is change in fixed cost plus change in variable cost. However, fixed costs never change. So this can never be more than zero because fixed costs by definition are fixed. So you can just use the same equation which says change in total cost divided by change in quantity and change in total cost just equals change in variable cost. So therefore you can use either of the two. So when you're answering questions, sometimes your question gives you total cost and sometimes it only gives you variable cost. So don't get confused, you can use either or. And when we do numerical examples, you should work with both of those columns and see whether the answer is same or not. Don't take my word, prove it to yourself. All right, so now you have all the equations, total cost, which is fixed cost plus variable cost, average fixed cost, average variable cost, average total cost, and now marginal cost. And I promise you that's it. There aren't any more costs that you have to incur when you're running a business, but it's very important that you understand these relationships. And you know, just to reiterate how important this is, average total cost just tells you on average what is it costing you to produce a million units. But marginal cost tells you how much extra it is costing you if you want to produce one more unit, which is very, very important. So let's do an example. If your quantity is this amount and the costs are this, again, this is the same as what you've seen in the previous video uh, when we're running our bakery, uh, what is going to happen to marginal cost? So marginal cost is the change in total cost, which is 2,000, divided by the change in quantity, which is 1,000, which gives you $2. And then let's proceed along this, uh, these two columns. Total cost goes up by 2,000. It goes up by 2,000 in every case because we know that Sidhu's workers or labor were costing him $2,000 per person. And then output is going up by 1,800. So 800, uh, sorry, going up by 800. So 2,000 divided by 800 gives you 250. And similarly, 2,000 divided by 600 gives you 333. And similarly, lastly, 2,000 divided by 200 gives you 10. So what you observe is that your marginal cost is rising as your quantity rises. Again, eventually in, in a video or two, I'm going to put together the concept of marginal product of labor from a few videos ago and how that impacts our marginal cost and average costs. So think about the link there uh, you know, before we, we get to that point. So hopefully you're very comfortable in knowing the, you know, what the differences are between averages, average fixed, average variable, and now also the marginal cost, which is very important. So you should be able to know what theoretically what those mean and also how numerically you can measure them. And in the next video, we're going to graph all of these and look at the relationship between the two, between all three of them. So if you're not clear on what they are, you cannot graph them. Be very clear on that. 